Ants Canada here. Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. For today's video, I am proud and pleased to present to you our brand new product. We have finally brought back our Ants Canada Outworlds. Yay! And here it is. It's our brand new AC Outworld. Now you can see it's pretty sizable. It's very large. It's about one foot long, six inches deep, and just over five inches tall. Now this Outworld I've naturally designed. The Outworlds right now come just bare with the acrylic Outworld. And what I've done is I've designed it naturalistically. For those of you who haven't seen our tutorial where I teach you how to make your Outworlds look like this, be sure to check out our video tutorial on how to create a naturalistic Outworld. We also will be releasing AC Outworld biome kits where you can essentially design an Outworld just like this. We give you all the materials you need. That kit will be coming out soon. But I am so happy because we finally released this. I've gotten so many emails you know, Ants Canada, when are you guys releasing an Outworld product? And we used to have an Outworld product. Um, we had several actually, but we had to discontinue them. Now I just wanted to go over some of the features of this Outworld. I think it's great because for one thing, it's cornerless. You'll notice that the shape of the Outworld is specially designed for ant keeping. It's actually elliptical. There are no corners. It's just kind of like oval shaped, which is great because the ants don't have corners. Those really stubborn ants that are escape artists will climb up the edges. And so here you've got a completely rounded outworld, which helps keep the ants in. As well, there's a lip at the top here. See, there's a lip, which allows you to put your deterrent in here so you don't have to really smudge this front here. Um, but you can put your deterrent on the top here as well if you like but me I would put it at the bottom here now if you look at the back this is where the tubes attach to this white part here is called the outworld portal and you simply attach that to your outworld it comes with your outworld kit and it allows you to attach your outworld to any of our two sizes of tubing all right guys so I'm excited to introduce my Fedoli ant colony to this new outworld that I've created for them and so let's get started. Now if you've been following our ant channel for a while, you'll know that I have a new Fedoli ant colony housed in a hybrid nest. And so I'm going to basically connect the hybrid nest to this outworld. But before I do anything, first I've got to apply my deterrent at the top here. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, and that's that. I've got the barrier there now. And also, if I wanted extra protection, of course, I've got a cover. The Outworlds come with their very own cover that fits perfectly on top, like so. You want there to be a lot of ventilation in your Outworld because you want this air circulating. You want it moving around. There has to be kind of like a micro wind. Um, and what this does is it keeps the ants from nesting in your outworld because if the air here is stagnant and it's not moving, your ants will be tempted to create a nest in your outworld and treat this entire outworld as like a giant nest room and you don't want that. So you want them to feel like this is the outside and their formicarium is the inside of their nest. Um, and to have that you need air moving. So you don't want an outworld with little tiny holes at the top for ventilation because you know the air won't be moving the whole idea is to have micro wind moving the air around another advantage of having an outworld with a lot of circulating air is it allows oxygen 
to go into your nest through your tubing. So you want your outworld to kind of have some air flowing in and out um, because that's the entrance point for oxygen and exit point for carbon dioxide from your formicarium. And so the more the air moves in your outworld, the better. Some people will even just have no cover on. And that's what I'm gonna do here. But you know, if you have kids or if you have pets or if you live in a tropical region like me, you have to worry about animals going in. And so a cover would be the best option. But I'll leave it uncovered for now. So my outworld is ready for the formicarium and I've got the tubes attached. Now all I gotta do is attach the tubes from the outworld to my formicarium. In their brand new spacious outworld, the ants immediately mobilized and got straight down to work. Workers began carrying grains of sand and debris and placed them around the entrances of the holes and even brought some into the nest, perhaps because they felt really exposed due to their new large space. In just a few hours, the ants had created ant hills just like they would in the wild. So cool. And now, one of the coolest things about having a big outworld like this? Feeding time! I placed a scalded feeder cockroach the day after the ants received their new outworld and watch how the action unfolds. And just a warning guys, it's a little graphic. I tried to kill the cockroach as best I could. Check out the ant trailing! The ants immediately began forming trails to and from their meal just as they would naturally. And this guys is why if you're keeping pet ants, their new outworld is so important because it allows the ants to perform their broad array of natural behaviors. Alright guys, I will leave you all at that. Be sure to visit our shop at antscanada.com to check out our new AC outworlds and I hope your ants are able to experience what it's like living in one. And love forever guys! Thanks for watching! Thank you guys for watching our brand new video. Be sure to visit us at antscanada.com. What are you guys waiting for? This is the best and coolest educational hobby ever. And don't forget to check out some of the other videos on this channel. And be sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date with our videos which we upload every first and third Monday of the month.